Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx, and thinky filler. Today, we're featuring The Forbidden City, designed by Andreas Stedding and published by Game Brewer. Welcome, everybody watching live around the world, as well as after the fact. I'm your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by some really good friends of mine. Amanda Euler. Jess Davis. I'm Tony. All right. So, before we get started, a big shout out to our 684 patrons we really appreciate the support and without them this isn't happening so we want to highlight jason d so jason we really appreciate the support thank you speaking of which we also want to give a big thank you to game brewer game brewer excuse me for sponsoring the playthrough tonight and providing us with the prototype to be able to show you guys if you're not familiar the kickstarter is currently running and killing it it looks like uh, right now and so if you want to check that out uh, I know Rudy is currently in the mm -hmm. chat with us so that's pretty cool welcome Rudy uh, so yeah big big thanks to Game Brewer and hopefully this helps you guys make a decision on whether or not this is uh, something you want to support or not on that note this is a prototype it's a really <laughs> nice prototype but it's still a prototype so the some of the rules may change before things are all said and done as well as the actual graphics components all that stuff may change check out the kickstarter or ask rudy in chat if uh for any of the details on that so that said y'all ready to rock and roll let's do it cool let's do it all right let's roll here we go all right so as normal i'm going to take the chat down and the uh and the the cameras uh, while we teach so that you guys can focus on the teach and then we will come back and bring all the cameras and the chat up after the fact all right so we have the forbidden city the game takes place over four days represented by four rounds each round is going to be broken up into three different phases there's a day phase a uh, a morning phase, a day phase, and an evening phase. And actually, it's really nice. They have the actual steps for each phase at the top of the board, as well as over here on your player aid, you have the morning phase, the day phase, and the night phase, and then end game scoring, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. So before we go into exactly how to play the game figure, we'll talk about what you guys are looking at. So around the outside on the left side and coming back down on the right side, you have the victory point track, goes to 70, loops around, so on and so forth. The aforementioned player aid for the three tracks or the three phases of the game. You have the destiny dice at the very top, and then you have the seven locations in which you're going to be able to take actions throughout the game. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We'll go into more detail on those as the teach goes along. Then over here on your player aid, you have your board, which doubles as a player aid or your player tableau, I should say. And then you have your three ships. This is the first player marker, which we are not going to be using. Uh, this actually got upgraded, I think, on the Kickstarter to a metal coin, Sweet. which in honor of the metal coin, we have the heavy cardboard challenge coin. So kind of, we thought thematically it made sense. So she's first? She is, Jess. Right. We randomly uh, determined. <laughs> so everyone's going to start with six servants, and there's the availability of a foreman here on their board. And then everyone starts with four cards, which that is the main mechanic in the game as far as these four cards. We'll talk about that more in a little bit. There is a standard setup which we are playing with tonight in which the first player gets a certain set of cards, the second player, so on and so forth. So me being the third player, these are that, but there is an expert variant in which you can just mix them up and deal them out however you want. So that said, let's go ahead and talk about how you play the Forbidden City. Best way that I know to teach this is actually go through the phases and go through how the game plays, and then we'll go into more detail as we go along. So phase one, you have the morning phase. That's kind of a reset, getting ready for the actual main part of the game. 
the day phase, which is the meat of the game, which is going to be the majority of our card play and the most of the actions that are going on out here. And then the evening phase, which we may be able to score some points. We're going to get additional work or servants and so on and so forth, and as well as move the ships. More on that later. So step one, the morning phase. We're going to determine the start player, so anybody who took this first player marker here, or the, the what will become the first player marker, then they will become the first player marker. That is the only time the first player will change. It will stay static if nobody takes this on a given round. All right. The second thing that's going to take care or happen is we're going to refill, refill the map. So any of these tokens that are removed from the board, we will refill those. Then we will roll the destiny dice. We've already done so for the beginning of the game, so we're not going to mess with that at the beginning of the game. Then we're going to execute any decree advantages. So those are going to be these six are decrees, but these two take place for the morning phase. And then last but not least, step five is receive new servants. So everybody has some in their supply, so they're gonna be acquiring more of those. That's gonna be the morning phase. It'll all make sense as we go along. Now the day phase, like I said, is the meat of the game. It's basically exchanging gifts. Now this is where the card play comes in. Now, taking a look at the cards that everybody has, these range from number one to nine on them, as you can see. And then the two important pieces of information that are on the cards are the actual number itself, as well as a potential available action when you actually exchange gifts, when you take the exchange gift action. So. Thematically, you want to talk about that? Too? Yeah, sure. Yeah, thematically, um, you are exchanging gifts with the officials at the Chinese court, and the game instructs that it, it, this comes about from the emperor trying to eradicate some corruption at the court, and so he outlawed the taking of bribes. So greed being what it is, the player or the uh, the people of the court have worked out another system by wink, which wink, nudge, yes, nudge, right? <laughs> by which patrons can kind of uh, get some influential treatment. So they will give the official of the court a valuable gift, and the official of the court will give back a less valuable gift, i.e. there is a little bit of... of I scratch uh, your back, you yes. scratch mine. So here I'm going to give you a valuable gift, but you're going to allow me to take this right. action. And so I think that masterfully plays into the card mechanic here that Edward's going to explain about how the cards are exchanged. All right. So on that note, how there are two ways that an exchange can actually take place. So if I can direct your attention down here to the shipping area, so down here at the bottom, so you'll see that this is a value two card. So I can do one of two things. I can either play a card with a higher value than that, meaning three or higher, three through nine. <clears throat> and if so, then I exchange that card. That now becomes the one that's in that area. I then take this card over to my tableau and I put it in my discard because that's going to become a card for the next round for me to have in my hand. So the four cards that I started with now, next round, that's going to be one of them. So then... After that happens, then I may, if I wish, execute the action that is shown on the card if there is one. You'll notice on this nine card, there is no symbol, so there's no action to take. So on that note, let's take a look at the top of each of these seven areas. There's a symbol here that we have the shipping area, we have the, the mask that's here. So you'll notice the mask here matches that symbol here on the yes. board. So what that means is this will allow me, if I wish, to then be able to take either of these two actions that are there uh, in that area. The right. intrigue action. Thank you. So we'll talk about the actual actions in detail in a little bit. Just know that when you exchange, you may take that action first, and then you may, in addition to that, do either of the two available actions for a given area. So does that make sense? So you exchange the card if it's a higher value, and then you may take the action on the card, and then you may take either of those two actions. Right. Cool? Mm -hmm. It's always a may. All right. So let's get back to, that's one option. The second option is if, let's say, I didn't want to play a card that was of higher value, then I could choose a card that is of a lower value. At that point, I have 
or two the same options. value. Or the same value. So if I had a two, it would be the exact same as a one in this case because it's not greater than the value of that card. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So in that case, I have two options. Step one, just like how it was, I exchange the card. This will then go into my discard just like as it was. If I choose not to pay anything additional, that's the end of that action. All right. So I didn't, it wasn't a higher value gift. Right. So therefore, I don't get to take any of these actions right. if I choose just to do that. The official denied you his patronage. Yeah. Thank you, but uh, you're going to have to come a little stronger than that. Exactly. <laughs> the other option here is to be able to do what to be able if you want to take the actions just like had you played a card of a higher value you have to make a sacrifice and there are two options for the sacrifice so option one is you take two of your servants discard them out to the supply and now i can take the available action that's shown on the card and then just like normal i could take either of the two other actions uh on the board but maybe, you know, you only start with six workers or six servants. Maybe that's not the option that you would like to do. That's fine. So maybe you don't spend those. The other option is you can take one of your cards that are still left in your hand and then you can just discard it into your discard pile. So you know what? Maybe I don't think I'm going to want to use this eight. So my payment instead of the two servants is I discard that. Or you want to save that eight for next turn. Or, as an option, <laughs> there is that. So either way, the, the iron cost has been paid, so to speak. So mm. in that case, if I've either paid the servants or the card, take that action if I wish, and then either of those two. Does that make sense? That's the actual meat of the game. That's the main mechanic yes. of the game itself. Mm -hmm. So I think this is an appropriate point to inject that, that theme back in here, because the rules that Edward just described about an equal or lower card, you have to make an additional sacrifice to take the action. There's one exception to that. And that is that a one can always take a nine. That is true. So if you guys are familiar with the game Arboretum or anything like that, where the lowest value can always trump the highest value, meaning a one can trump a nine, because that's the yeah. range of the cards. Thematically, why is that, T? Thematically, it is explained that the, the one represents some rare or exotic fruits that are sometimes hard to get. And so the officials might be willing to uh, make an impulsive decision and say, sure, go ahead, let's, let's do this deal and I will grant you my patronage. All right, that makes sense. So there you go. So that we're, what's going to happen during the day phase is starting with Jess, and she is the first player, she's going to take one of her four cards, she's going to exchange one of the seven out there, and then may take the actions where she's going to do that once. We go clockwise around the table until we're all out of cards, then we all pass, then we go into the evening phase. Mm -hmm. Any questions on that so far? No. Cool. So the evening phase, then what's going to happen? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's say, for argument's sake, these are the four cards that end up in my discard pile. We're then going to check the destiny and dice values to collect servants and possibly victory points for whoever has the most servants. So you'll notice I have a one, three, eight, and a nine. And the three destiny dice up there are a five, six, and an eight. Well, as it is, I only have one card value that matches those numbers, the eight. So that means I will get one worker and you can see that at the beginning of the evening phase right there so i then would take one of these add it to any existing that i had left over from the previous row or the end or earlier in the round from the day phase and there we go then whoever actually had the most matching of that would then score three points and then they would move their en envoy. Their envoy in up the Temple of Heavenly Purity. <laughs> which is, it's a beautiful thing, isn't Must it? Must be. <laughs> so, I haven't talked about that, and I think this is a really good time in which to do so. So, yeah, uh, well, maybe the day. The and then at the end, phase. all the ships yeah. are going to move, but We're, I'll talk more about that okay. when I do okay. this. Okay. So, up here, the Palace of Heavenly Purity. So everyone starts, uh, I guess this would be impure, at the, very <laughs> at the base of it, and eventually we'll hopefully climb our way up until we actually make it up into the, the, the top of the, uh, of the palace. Anybody by the end of the game that has not reached the top of the palace, thank you for playing. So sorry. 
<laughs> off with your heads. It does not off matter your, your score. It does not matter your score. You're, right. You do not win You're the game. You're disqualified. Right. Yeah. You are completely out of the game. Yeah. So it will behoove you to make sure that you make it up to the top of the palace. Yeah. The first one to reach the top of the palace will score seven points. You'll notice the purple that you will gain those victory points. Uh, put your, your envoy up there, so on and so forth, once you've reached that, okay? So, getting back to the end of the evening phase, you're going to, whoever has the most destiny dice, uh, their cards matching the destiny dice, will score three points and then move their envoy one step closer to the top of the palace. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. So that's, that's it. At the end of four rounds, we're then going to go into final scoring. Final scoring is then shown here. And we'll talk about that here at the end. And then whoever has the most victory points wins the game. So now, briefly, let's go ahead and go over the seven areas on, and what they can do. And then we'll begin the game. Cool? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and start with the Palace of Heavenly Purity. When you perform the action, meaning when you exchange the, a higher value card or mm -hmm. equal to or lower and pay the penalty, you then will be able to take whatever uh, action is on the card, which corresponds to one of the seven areas on the board and or choose one of the two available actions so you have two choices for free advance your envoy one step so pretty easy you just move him on up yeah, easy yeah. it's a good deal or if you wish you can pay two servants from your supply again you start with six of these bad boys and you can move your ser your envoy two spaces and advance on the intrigue on the intrigue track so you'll notice everyone starts down here at the bottom of the intrigue and there's a little trail doo -doo 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 -doo, moving along there we'll get to that here shortly all right so there you go so move your envoy for free one or pay two servants and move your envoy two and move one on the intrigue track any questions on that mm -hmm. pretty simple cool then we'll jump up top to the traveler action so the traveler action is that location at the very top there you go. Thank you, Tony. So again, when you, exchange, w w <laughs> when you exchange the card, you get to take any available action on the card. And then your other two options are move your traveler once and collect one of the travel tokens immediately and receive its benefit. So you'll notice everyone starts off board, so to speak, here. You can choose any of the available locations. There you go. When you <laughs> choose that, you then select that. You get the action what, or, the, or what, the benefit of whatever it is. And then you will immediately turn it over and put it down. Uh, you'll notice the handy dandy little spots at the top of your board. So you'll just place it in right there. The reason you're doing that is at any time on your turn, depending on the number of those tokens you wish to turn in, the spent tokens, because you obviously get the benefit immediately whenever you claim it, when you choose to, you can turn them in. So if you turn in two of them, you can get one servant immediately. If you turn in four of them, you get two victory points. If you turn in six of them, you get a piece of jade. Jade's yes. going to be worth considerable victory points at the end mm -hmm. of the game. When you turn them in, they then go back mm -hmm. into these piles over there, shuffle them up, and they'll refill or refill at the, uh, at the end of each round or at the beginning of each round. Mm -hmm. All right? So that's the travel. So... Travel one space, if you wish, or spend two servants and travel two spaces. And when you travel, you um, skip over empty spaces and spaces occupied by other players. So, for instance, if Tony started there and he had taken that, and let's say previously that one had been taken on an earlier round, maybe I ended up down here like so. And if I, if I was to move again, sure. if I wanted to move one space... I would ignore these two. I could go here, here, or, of course, one of the other directions. Correct. All right. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Now, when you move two spaces by paying the two servants, the cool thing about this is you don't just get the value of the one that's, uh, that you land on. It's every one that you get along the way. So you would get multiples, potentially. Mm -hmm. So if you move twice, you're going to get two of them. Mm -hmm. Just resolve them one at a time, and you're good. There you go. All right. Cool. Yep. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is travel. No questions there? Cool. Moving on. Good deal. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Still battling a bit of a cold here. Over here now, we're moving into the Great Wall, which, I mean, this is China, after all, and the Great Wall <coughs> played a significant part in the history of China. It's pretty great. So I hear. <laughs> so you play a card, do the available action, and you may do either of these two. So first and foremost, you can take one servant, again, from your supply 
not from the common supply, and you can place it out here on the leftmost space. Now, depending on player count, when this gets full up to that number of player count, it's then going to score, which I'll get to here in a minute. You can also pay one additional to place two. So for instance, if I had my original six, I would discard one to the supply, and then I could take two of these guys and put two of them out there like so. So those are the available actions there. But let's go ahead and talk about if there were multiples, and let's say Tony has three of them out here. Amanda or Jess, if you can hand me one. And let's say on Jess's turn, boom, she places the last one there. As soon as it triggers, again, that fills up the four player spot. We are four players tonight. You then look at, we immediately interrupt the round or interrupt the turn and do the scoring. Whoever has the most, in this case, it would be Tony, would then score three victory points immediately and move their envoy once step up the track. And then... Then I get my guys back. Yes, whoever has the majority then removes them. However, if there had been a tie, it then comes down to the intrigue track. Who, this is the tiebreakers for just about everything in this game. Whoever is furthest along the path of intrigue, seems oddly thematic, then you then break ties. So in this case, if it were, if Tony had two of them there and I was there and Tony was there, or if I was actually came afterwards, whoever's on top would then break ties. So in this case, I would score the three points, et cetera, et cetera. That makes sense? Yep. Yeah. All right. In addition to that, then everybody in the majority order, uh, I'm sorry, in intrigue, reverse intrigue order, then can do yeah. this, which is spend that many intrigue to then gain whatever the special ability is. So in this, these two gain one or two servants from the supply, spend five steps. And by spend, I mean move back towards the beginning here to yeah. then change one of the three destiny dice to any value that you wish, or is it re-roll? I'll have to double check that. Spend seven and get one piece of jade from over here. Again, jade is going to score you victory points at the end of the game. So any questions on that? No. Nope. On the Great Wall? Mm -hmm. All right? Cool. All right. So now let's move over to the Jade Market. So the Jade Market mm -hmm. is over there to the right. Again, playing the card, yada, yada, yada. And this one, really simple. You'll notice you'll pay a value of servants to get one piece of Jade. So you'll notice that there are four locations over here in the Jade Market two, three, four, and if all those are empty and those never refill, you then can purchase from the common supply there. So obviously you would want to spend fewer workers here, so you would discard two workers and you could take one piece of jade. You are limited to a single transaction in a single action. Cool? Cool. And once you have jade, it's like luggage, you never get rid of it. Cool. All right, so there's jade. So now, let's go back to the Intrigue area. So down here, playing the card, same thing goes. Here is, for free, you may move one space up the Intrigue track and get the first player marker. So obviously, the first player that chooses this option will take the, I'm going to be the first player marker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then at the beginning of the next round, we will exchange the first player marker with whoever has that. It is possible that the same player takes that and they just maintain first mm -hmm. player. The other option, spend one servant, and you may move three spaces up the Intrigue track. However, you do not, you'll notice, get the first player marker. Yeah. Cool? Three spots is pretty good. It, it certainly is. All I right. noticed, uh, if I could for a second, that Rudy has said here in the chat that one of the things that's going to change on the board, instead of laying them out like this, is to stack them in player order. So I presume that's so that there's a tiebreaker immediately at the beginning. Oh, of the I guess game. that makes sense. So, so we, can, we will go we ahead and do that. that. So one, Thank two, you, three. All right. See, he also there we said go. that in the final board, there'll be a two to three player side and a four and five player side. Okay, cool. Very there cool. we go. Very, very nice. Cool. All right. All right. So moving on, we're going to move over to the decree section, which is right here, the penultimate area. <laughs> then again, playing the card here, you get to do all of this in a sense. So what it is, is you, each of these six locations has spot for one servant per player. So if you've already placed one down here on this decree in that any of those locations, then at that point you will never place another servant there because there's no reason. You've already claimed that decree 
for the game. So you're good to go. Okay? I like that one. That's a good decree. All right. <laughs> so what it is, is the cost is always going to be one servant plus whatever is shown on the decree itself. All right. Yeah, the, the cost is, uh, for the decrees, it's one extra for each servant that's already there. That's, that, sorry. I that iconography is a little tricky on that one spot. I, I actually think the icons are good in this game. Right. I misspoke. So yeah, in this case, exactly. it would be a cost of one, one that's on the decree, plus right. one additional because it's there is one marker already on there. So for me to place that marker there, it would cost two place because, because it costs one on the decree and then one more than the number of markers already there, which there you are go. zero. Right. So, put, if, so I will spend two for my supply to get my one there. Now, if Amanda wants to put it, her marker there, it would cost her one because that's the price on the decree. And then one two. more than what's on there. So one basically to cover the cost of this and then another one to actually place there. So a total of three. It was a cost her three and then she can put a fourth guy there. Yeah. And then you place an additional servant. So it's very expensive to be the second, third, fourth. Especially the fourth or possibly. OMG fifth player fifth there. Fifth player, right. Right. So... So for Amanda to go there, she's going to spend one because that's what the decree cost, and then two because that's one more than the number of. And then she places there. the fourth one on there. Very expensive, but so, highly worth it. Right. So that said, let's go ahead and talk about what these do. So on the morning phase, you'll notice that there are these for the decrees, which are on the fourth step of the morning phase. So what this is, get one servant from the supply. Awesome. This is move your envoy one space every turn. So if you can get that in the first round, you're looking at moving him up three spaces mm -hmm. automatically by the end of the game. So that's three less you have to. Again, if you do not make it up here, thank you for playing, mm -hmm. but you will not win. I think all we're right. all going to go for that one. It, it, well, <laughs> plan well. Get there or, first. Or get there first, right? Exactly. Get there second. The other options are this one is pretty nice. This, uh, this one allows, and this is a perpetual for the game. This allows you to then, instead of playing a greater than value, so in this area you could play a five, and that counts as having played a greater value card. This one says anytime you take a piece of jade, notice the action symbol up there, it costs one less. So in this case it'd be two, or it'd be one, two, three, or four respectively, and those are ongoing. And then these two over here are in-game scoring. So you'll notice these are prohibitively expensive to actually place workers. However, that's going to be eight points at the end of the game. This one counts two points per piece of jade up to a total of 10 points. Well, you'll notice jade, jade, and at the end of the game, the jade scoring right here. Cool. And you right, also that. get those points immediately whenever you... On those... On the actual decrees themselves. Right. Good call. All right. So that leaves us the Grand Canal down here at the bottom. Again, playing the card, et cetera, et cetera. So you'll notice that everybody starts the game with three ships in their uh, area. They, everybody has three ships mm -hmm. and only three ships total. So your two options are you may play one servant out there onto an existing ship that is out here, or you may place a new ship in any of the two starting locations. The two starting locations, and they are identical. They do, 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 do. So in this case, if I were to exchange that card, I do whatever's on the card itself. I could then place that and take one of my servants and place it on there. You'll notice there is a spot for three servants on there, all right? Because the second action is you can pay one servant to be able to place two servants on any mix of ships that you have out there. So for instance, if I had previously worked my way up and that was now empty or whatnot, I then could place two servants. I could place two on one. I could place one and one, yeah. et cetera, there, et cetera. There would never be an empty one. Good point, yeah. because they would actually move yeah. back. That's true. Because if I had placed two on that, and this had advanced on a previous having done so here, right. then as it's full, if you're on your turn, when you take this action, you can remove these three back to the supply and then take whatever the reward is there. Now, I say you put them back in your supply. If you take a look down here, there are three rewards that you're going to be able to claim through the Grand Canal. So depending on where you actually empty your ship dictates what bonus you're gonna be able to get. So if you remove it on the first one, you would take one of the cubes that were on there when you emptied it, 
to score that many victory points, so in this case, four points. You'll notice there are three available on that. There are two for drawing a card, which drawing the card then is from the supply here. Mm -hmm. Cool, you, and that goes immediately into your hand, so you get a bonus You get another action, action every round. And last but not least, you have your foreman. So your foreman, you'll notice, looks like two cubes or two servants pushed together. Mm -hmm. That's exactly kind of what it is, but it counts as one. This is really beneficial for a couple of reasons, because you'll notice he counts as one servant, but he takes up two spaces for majority stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's placing one servant out there. Once you have acquired your foreman, and they're, they're only available in the last two spots if you clear the ship off in that case. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. And then once you have done so, you'll notice you will have only played, you would have played one cube there, which means if this gets spent ever, it's now available to be claimed again. Oh, hey, I get a servant? Yeah, I'll probably go ahead and take that one there. For sure. That'll work. For sure. Okay. A couple of placement notes on the Grand Canal. Sure. Is you always want your, when you're placing a ship, <coughs> it's always going to be in the starting port or as close to the starting port as possible if, because it could be occupied, right? And then when you move your ship, you skip over spots that are occupied by... Just, so you, just like what happens on the yeah. travel. So you can get some... Uh, Interesting little play down there. Yep, a little kind of leapfrog yeah. action going on. So going back to the end, the night phase, the very last thing at the end of a round is all ships are going to advance one space. So in this case, if I had, say, one or two servants on it, it's going to automatically advance to the next space. Then, after four rounds, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, like... Um if you find yourself on that bottom space <laughs> in the evening phase, oh yeah, um, and you plan move better because yeah, that right, right. comes all this it yeah. goes away. You kind of wasted your investments. So in that case, Just that goes that back happen. to the supply, and that comes back. Hashtag plan better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. All right, so let's talk about final scoring real quick. So at the end of the fourth round, we go through everything. So it's really simple. We score the Great Wall. And again, the Great Wall scoring is that right there, which we went over already. If there are any cubes on the wall, even if it's not full, you just score what's on there. Okay. Then you go into uh, decrees. You'll mm -hmm. score whatever decrees are on there. Then you will get uh, points for your envoys where they are up here. Notice again, purple is end game scoring. And last but not least, you will score for the pieces of jade that you have there. And you can see the scoring right there. Whoever has the most points wins the Forbidden City. Woo! Cool. There you go. Any questions? No. All right. Any <laughs> questions for the peanut gallery? And if, while we're getting everything reset, I will move my board up. We'll bring the camera up. So I'm going to bring that up here so you guys can see it so I don't need to change camera views. Go. Make it easier for you guys to follow along. Um, all right, so we I probably shouldn't start. Well, I'd like to start with that, but I feel like that might be cheating. A little bit, yeah. Two, well, yeah. four, The teacher five. does not get that kind of a bonus. Well, he <laughs> should. Uh, and then one of these can go there. You can bury that. Sounds and good. There we go. So, yeah, that's it. So... I'm actually going to keep these down here for the tableau and to show mm -hmm. folks so they can kind of play along with me and hopefully no one actually looks at what my cards are. Oh, never. No. Mm -mm. Never, right? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. All right. So let's begin. Jess, it is your honor, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> All right. So taking a five, there. playing a nine. Good to go. What? A nine oh. already? Oh, yeah, well, are. that was good. So it goes into your yep, discard. That's going to go down here. So now there's no extra symbol. So, no, so I'm shocked, shocked, I say, at what she's <laughs> going to do. So this I is mean, going to cost yeah, one cost. servant for that and one for the actual card. It's one Plus more one. than what was there. So yeah. it's a total of... It's going to be a total of two to get that one down. Right. Two, then it's going to be three, right. four, five, plus one more to go on the space. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I'm shocked at that, <laughs> said no one ever. So, no. right? now, I wasn't in the room when you guys randomized for first. Are you sure I'm sure? <laughs> I, I, was, I was there. I, wa I watched it happen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, in fact, I'm the one who actually drew it. Speaking of which, if you're not familiar with the streams before, now's the time to place your bets, all right? I also so. get three points, right? Oh, uh, you do score three. Uh, yeah, if you don't call for them, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, did, okay? All right? And while the teach was going on, actually, real quick, before 
Amanda takes her turn. Uh -oh. um, we actually got two new patrons <laughs> during the teach. We didn't want to interrupt it, so we're at two. 686. So awesome. Wow. Let's uh, hold it. one moment. So welcome, Frank, and welcome, uh, welcome. I, I lied. Three, Jan and Matthew. So, wow. One more. 687. Yay. Awesome. Yay. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Getting that's, even closer to that David statue. That's pretty spectacular. That might be the best teach ever uh -huh. just from number of patrons. So oh. we appreciate the support, y'all. Thank you very much. All right. Okay. There's oh, no Matt tonight. tonight. From Brittany, France. Awesome. Tony for, from, for last to first. Hey, Dave. All right. Okay. I'm going to spend two. There's a fly in here. And it's yeah, 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 crazy. Yeah, ignore it. Two. No. Nope. All right. So you spent two servants to move up two and one on the intrigue track. Uh oh. So Amanda now owns tiebreakers. You have to do this. Okay. We need to move on the intrigue. <coughs> <coughs> you, at some point, you got to you got to I'll explain. tell a story. All right. All right. So looking at this. <laughs> okay. So this is, right. you know, what's with these eight and nines going out there? Yeah, oh. sorry, that's you dirty. Think I'm made so, of you know what? Gifts here. I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> play this out. one because a one can then Strong replace a nine, nine, which I'm trying to do solid for my friend T over here. Yeah. So the one, remember, can trump the nine. I appreciate you, brother. Hey, team player. Okay. <laughs> so the nine, remember, will go there to my discard. And now I may take that action. That action is up here on the Great Wall. The Great Wall says I can place one servant for free, and you know what? Let's go ahead and place one servant for free. Done. So that's that action. Now, here. So that's going to cost me a total of four workers, or four servants, to be able to do that. To do? To be able to oh. do the same decree. That's going to cost you one, two, three. And then a fourth one to place. Yeah. Ouch. Expensive. You only have five. Just do it. Do it. Um, now you can shape okay. your, your next turn. There we go. All, All right. right. Done. Cool. All right. All right. This kid's going to go do some um, some shipping, if you would, please, madam. All right. So uh, the card action is I can take a worker, a servant. I, I definitely shall. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do something crazy. Uh -oh. Nope. Hold on. One too many. So what it is is what's on the decree. One for every cube that's out there existing, and then place. So it's actually only three. So it was what I said at the very beginning. So we're good. So that cost me a total of three. One for the card. One to pay for Jess's cube there, and then the, the third, third one, one to there. place. So did I pay too many? Because I you paid pay the same two. As you. I paid two and placed one. You should have only paid one. Yeah. So there you go. Good to go. All right, cool. Sorry about that. And you get that. three points. And three points. Thank you, Rudy. You are forever number one in my book. All right. <laughs> I'm going to spend awesome. a worker to do Welcome, the... Welcome, Steph. ...to do the two workers. And so what I'll do is I'll take... I'll put two ships out. And one thing I should clarify here, that whenever you... You can place one ship per worker that you place out there, or one, one ship per servant. So in this case... Two servants are going out there, so i.e. Tony can place two. Now, you could place one there, and he could place one here. But I'm going to place one All there. All right, so you skip an occupied location, yes. move on over here, and boom, done. I've not done that before, and I thought it might there be. There we go. Okay. Cool. Taking over shipping. And Brody, to, it's, about, uh, it's about five feet above the board, and it zoomed in pretty good. But it's, it's a six-panel board, it looks like. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six. When we first played this game, we actually had it sideways, which is easier for everybody at the table, but it doesn't stream as well for mm -hmm. you guys. Okay? Mm -hmm. Abby, I think you'll be able to pick it up throughout the game. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> chipmunk mode. Or chipmunk mode. Exactly, Matthew. <coughs> All right. I'm going to go there. All right. But so. I have to spend a, I'm going to spend a card. All right. So that one goes into your discard. Yep. So now I'm going to spend a card to okay. do the action. So discard mm -hmm. one, and now you yeah. get both of those. So mm -hmm. here, uh, the envoy, which up. for free, mm -hmm. you wish to. All right. Yes, so one there. Yep. And then do you wish the free? Um, yeah. Move up the... All right. So blue. So yeah. Jess. And she's keeping the first player marker mm -hmm. for next round. I see. Boo. Boo. I'm okay with it. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? Um, let's see. Rudy says interesting tactic with the ships, T. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. We'll see how it plays Thanks, out. Thanks, John. I'll make sure to pass that along to Matt. So that's a higher value. You get right. no bonus, no soup for you. That's just fine. All right, what are you doing? I'm going to go here to get an extra worker every sunrise. It's actually only one worker. I only, well, it's, oh, there's nothing else there. Okay. It's, no, it's two. It's two? I lied, Jess. I'm sorry. It's one for the decree and yes. then one to place. Yes. That's yeah, that's what, what did. you did. All mm -hmm. right, we're good. All so right. I get I three points you. as well. Oh, fine. <laughs> I feel All like right. I'm being left out. All right, so two workers. I do, in fact, have two workers. Uh, yes, Jordan, we're doing um, the Tales of the Northlands of Ta Saga of Nog and the Nog on Saturday. That is a Kickstarter that just launched. Hmm. Uh, man. You know what? I am going to go ahead and play... I'm going to go ahead and play the eight up here on the travel area. All right, sir. I'll assist you. All right. So that will go into my discard. And something else that you want to be cognizant of is, don't forget, the destiny dice. You want to be going for those numbers, which obviously you can tell I'm doing a masterful job of. No. Uh, so I will go ahead and spend the two workers to be able to take the... Uh, before I do that, sorry, I'm actually going to take the card action, which the card action here the intrigue. is the intrigue. I will go ahead and take the free one, which is just, I will get the tiebreaker. But no first player yeah. marker, because somebody... <sighs> All right. So, that said, I will now go ahead and pay the two workers into there, and I will go ahead and place my... May I assist you? Yep. Uh, we'll go to the two worker location first. That would be here. Yep. And right. we will travel west, young man. So go west. That, these... And the two victory point spot, please. Coming over here. The left. Oh, that was your move. That was oh, one. Oh, of yeah, them. that's right. You did twice. Gotcha. There we Good go. job. Good so job. I got the two workers back, two and then VPs. I will get two victory points because I hear that's the goal of the game. Yeah. So yeah. now I have that, and at any point now, I can then spend those two to get an extra worker if I so decide. There we go. Cool. I'm going to go do some shipping again, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get Trixie with it. Okay. So the, I can do the, the shipping action. And you, so, do we actually get to take the shipping action two, yes. indivi two separate times? So I'm, I, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a token on the first ship, and I'm going to move it one space. Okay, so now we're leapfrogging because, oh, can't go there, so right. he will go there. That's one action. And then for the next action, so we that do was the that. same no, thing yeah. with the other ship. Ooh, nice. look at you. Right. So there, so then he moves that ship. Oh. Cannot go there. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, that's beautiful. <laughs> You're proud of yourself. Right? It sounds Jumping like he's awfully... That, that's that's pretty like clever. That's a pretty sexy shipping right there. <laughs> Boats like that, that's amazing. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, if you're not watching it at 1080p 60 live mm. and your bandwidth allows for it, it definitely behooves you to, to upgrade everything. And good morning, Rob. Happy, uh, happy Wednesday, down under. Mm. All right, I have the worst card ever. So I'm going to do that. I have to pay two workers to do if, that. If you wish to, I'm correct? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I can place so on the great, great wall. You're gonna, you have to do mm -hmm. the Oh, sorry. Yep. You're so already on top there. of it. And then I'm going to come out and do something mm. with this horse. That's exci I'm excited to see the something. Oh, no, no. Um, hmm. I'm going to take two workers. Back. All right. Done. Amanda? Okay. Go up there as well. And yes, ma'am. please. I would assist. Thank you. Huh. And then I'm going to spend two workers. Are you going to do the shipping action? Um, no. No. Again, it's always a may, remember. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna you're gonna travel twice, hey, James? You? Yes, I'm gonna go the that, yep. Yeah. And then one over. Uh, this one. Yeah. All right. So your envoy will move up one. All right. For the first one. And then this one is exchange a card from your hand or your discard with one of the seven on the table. Mm 
Do, you don't get the action, you get the card. Yeah. Right. Oh, nice, Rudy. There you go. That's always encouraging to hear, right? Amanda took the six. All right. Cool. So if you, and that you took it from your hand, so therefore it stays in your hand, mm -hmm. not in your discard. Correct. Cool. You have two that you can turn in for another uh, servant I if know. you wish to. I do not wish to. All right. So I'm looking at the at the dice up there, the destiny dice, five, six, and eight. You'll notice there is literally only one available that it matches one of those, and that is the eight. So you know what? We'll go ahead and play the nine here. So, excuse me. So the eight will go into my discard. I don't get any special action. I could, and ah, why not? Let's go ahead and spend the two servants. So I will take the double move down here to get there, All and right. I get one of the intrigue, which is awesome that I'm leading. I already was, but now I'm going to be back of the bus if anybody takes any intrigue. <gasps> <sighs> Knowing you for so long, the intrigue level suits you. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and do the shipping again. Yeah, well, uh, weird. Okay. <laughs> weird. <laughs> I don't, Bizarre. What the heck? All right. All right. So, so ship, uh, first off, first is the uh, palace of the purity, heavenly purity. I definitely am doing that. Okay. That's, so uh, just the free one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and put a guy on. Sure. That one. And then you can move a ship. Uh, yes, I might as well. Let me think about that for a moment. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do any any movement, okay. but I am going to go ahead and resolve that ship so, and earn my foreman. So these three, two of them will go back to the supply. One will go down to your foreman. So he's out of the game forever, that and, cube. But oh, my hey, foreman now you is have now a second in worker. the game. Mm. There we go. Yes. Cool. All right. Go big or go home. I'm out of cards. She's so out I can't of cards. Grease any more Tony cards. did actually, Brody, but yes, yes, yes that got yeah, covered. It is cool, Brody. All right, so Jess is done for the round. Amanda. So you took a. I just took a five. Okay. So you're not taking any of the actions. I have well, no she doesn't have any peeps. No servants. Hashtag plan better. No, I'm good. I've got... She wanted the card. Wanted the ah, card. Yeah. right. All right. So, I have three left. And I have no servants. I could discard those for one servant. The problem is, to be able to activate for a lower value, you'll notice everything is higher than a three. Y'all suck. <laughs> so, You're looking welcome. at... You're Right? So, looking at this... I might as well take one that matches the destiny die. Right. Uh, I mean, I could get... Uh, I'm also looking at the special ability on this, but ha being able to get the shipping plus the extra servant from the destiny die, that sounds good. So I will replace the six with the three. So this will go into my discard. Unfortunately, I can't pay the servant, and I have no cards left. The turn of the orange player is complete. I will again do shipping <laughs> with this eight. <laughs> All right. I'll happily take that three because of the cube I'll get next round. <coughs> and uh, we will put a guy on that ship. We won't bother with any movement, and we'll resolve that right now. Which means you... I get another card So, here. two of those there, and one for the card. One for the card. And Thank ship you very comes much. Off. And now that goes into your hand, Tony. Yes. Uh, your turn's over, but none of us have cards left. Please, continue. Uh, no problem. I, I think I shall, good sir. Uh, oh, hold on. Excuse me. No. Uh -oh. Jim just gave us a glory to Rome. He's like, I got to quit watching these. I keep spending oh. money. So we get one from the peanut gallery. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and snake up this card because I, I like the cut. Of its jib. And we'll play a five in exchange for that four. So I will get to do the... Um, intrigue. intrigue two times, and in fact, I shall do it two times. For free? Yes. Okay, so that'll be one, two. Yes. We have words for people like you. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Skilled? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, Neither. that's definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. I'm kidding. Hey, stop clocks twi right twice a day. Exactly. Right? Right. exactly. Even so, a blind, blind squirrel, right? Exactly. <laughs> so we go into the uh, the night phase, the day phase is now over, so evening we go phase. to the evening phase, sorry. Mm -hmm. all right. So now, everybody will reveal all their cards. Wow, I have so many matches. I have zero oh. matches. Okay, I have two. 
One. Four. What? 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 Wicked. <laughs> we, wow. Numbers. <laughs> all right. Seriously. All right. So now. Uh, so all right. So everyone's going to get the number of servants based, yeah. uh, based on their matches. So, so Amanda will get so one. I'll take zero. Okay. Well done. All right. I'm I will done. take my two and Jess will cheat and take four somehow. And since so she had the most, she gets three VP. All right. Fine. She are blue. One, two, and three. And her envoy goes up one. And gets blue. a little purer. Right. More mm -hmm. pure. Good karma. Right. All right. And then all ships on the track will move. Done. Yeah. Done. Done. All right. Okay. So that's the end of the first day. Yeah, yeah. One thing I neglected to mention, I believe, is getting servants, uh, which is actually the fifth step of the uh, morning phase. So we're going to go into round two. And those match the number that are right there. So we'll start out. First player. Now be whoever has the first player marker gets it. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. There's that. She kept it. Cheater. All right. Second thing is we refill any empty spaces. There we go. Third phase, roll them bones. Two, three, nine. Please match cards I don't have. Right, seriously, right? That way, maybe I can get some. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next thing is decrees. Anybody that has the morning phase decrees will get that. So Amanda gets a worker, and blue and orange. So blue there, oops. And orange gets a little bit more pure, good. And last but not least, it shows that everybody gets four servants. Yeah. So everybody gets four servants oh, in addition to. Are these limited? They are piece limited, I believe. Rudy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's actually a really good question for Rudy. So give it about twenty seconds. We'll get an answer. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, I think we're good. Judging from your wealth, I'm going to say yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Seriously. Aww. No. All right. Cool. I appreciate that, Jordan. Thank you. Uh, all right. So Jess, begin. We are in day two. Now we are in the day phase, which current <clears> way. <throat> Yep, four days. So are you guys able to follow along? Is it making sense uh, having seen one of the rounds now? And I'm curious, how many of y'all uh, are either backers or potentially backing the Kickstarter. I'm curious. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Space Goblin, uh, we'll, we'll explain that as we go again. No worries. Follow along. You'll be able to pick it up, I think. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious, how many cards does everybody have? I have four. Five. Five. Four. Four. Okay. So, and Tony got the extra from Damn. being able to draw the card. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What, I thought I heard Think out loud. I know, right? think out loud. Um, <laughs> you spell that? Right? That takes two of my components. That's not bad. And saves that for next time. Mm. Shipping. All right, I'm going to go here to this. All righty. We will so. allow that. Yes. Hey, Franny. All right. All right, so. So, Great Wall, double Great wall, Action. And then it gives me Great Wall. You only, really, only a single. I'm yes, they are limited. Awesome. All right. Yep, we figured. So. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, so that it, man? Mm -hmm. All right, Amanda. Hmm. What time is it over in uh, Belgium, Rudy, right now? I want to say it's about 4 in the morning, Spend I think. So. It's got to be oh dark 100. Yeah, it's, it's stupid early. Move me up, please. He said he did... Uh, he did uh, wake up early for this, so we appreciate it for sure. I am done. All right, so I have three, six, eight, and nine. All right, so that's three. where we're at. So three, six, eight, and nine. Hmm. You know what? You know what going third is? Not as good as going first. Better than going fourth. The, the, this is a fact, Jack. So I'm going to go ahead and play a six. We'll go ahead and take that five, which does me so well with the uh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> dice, I'm, destiny dice. I'll certainly allow that. So first off, I will go ahead and take a shipping action. Shipping action, I can place one for free, one of my servants, and place a ship, and I shall do so. There. That is interesting. Although I w I'm tempted to mimic what Tony did because that was awfully clever. They say the 
best form of flattery is imitation, right? That is correct. I'm not going to feed your ego, though. So don't, we will go I don't ahead. have one. Uh, advance one space, and oh, that yeah, sure. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Done. <laughs> uh, I will not be third next round. <laughs> well, yeah. That's all. all I'm right. second. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Edward. Right. Hey, team player. All, all right. right. I'm going to go ahead and pay a lower value here. Okay. Oh. To yeah. discard a card. So is it a three, a two, a three, or a nine? Uh, it's going to be one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to actually. I'm going to throw a two on it because of the reason. Right. Right? Yeah. Yep. So also because of the action that's on that too. All right. So I'll get this five and throw it in my pile. So since I made my sacrifice, we will go ahead and uh, we'll Free. impure ourselves. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to spend one to play two. Okay. And by two, I mean. One and oh, that's wow. dirty. Oh, oh, that's well done. Oh, I'm a dirty player. Oh. That is really Son good. Of a gun. Okay, so we hit okay. the four. So we interrupt everything. Yep. So here sorry, we go. Uh, no. no. <laughs> and by I'm sorry, yeah. sorry. I know. It, yeah. Sorry, not sorry. sorry. Cool. So, so whoever has the most, well, it's tied. they're tied. So we look, blue is back here. Yep. Red yeah. is there. Yeah. So sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Tony gets it. So Tony's oh. going to score. Oh, welcome to the game, Tony. I'll get my first three points. All right. So there's that. And my little, uh, my Where's envoy that? will crank up one level of I don't of think purity. your karma should go up for that. That right. is nice. <laughs> right. Oh, it's, it's very, a lot, <laughs> lot of entries <laughs> go back to the supply. So Five. that one will go in there, which I'll definitely be. But at least you're set up I in real good shape. Oh, yeah. So it's there's right. that. Didn't, right. didn't hurt you. Not that. In one iota. So <laughs> now in reverse intrigue order, yes. blue. Would you like to spend your one? Nope. To be able to get one. Nope. All right. So then uh, that would be blue, then, then red, red would be next. I, I will spend one to get one. Oh, I guess it'll be my... There we go. Four and again. last but not least, would I like to? Huh? One, two, three, you say, for two servants? Don't mind if I do. One, two, and yes. three to get two servants. They are loyal, loyal servants. Cool. Hike on the intrigue track. Oh, you know what? Seems to be fleeting. Totally forgot because I, uh, when I placed that, oh, I forget. Thank you, Rudy. That actually, yeah, you did move that. that. Yeah, 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 because this is worthless. That place is Go call uh, Rudy. And that's why the peanut gallery is invaluable. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, that was me, right? That was so, you. It's madam. Your turn. This is awesome. We have Taiwan. It's I've 10 a.m. I've my lesson on intrigue. So I'm yeah. <laughs> 10 a.m., 4 a.m. Fool me once. Mm -hmm. Shame on you. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. All right. So, so double intrigue. Yes. Um, and I'll spend one. So that'll go up. So one Yes. for this one. Yeah. And then here. I'm going to spend one to go up the three. Three. One, two, and three. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. All right. You can see the turns, in theory, should be relatively yeah, quick. Yeah. So man is taking the one, placing a five. Mm. Kind of upset with you for doing that. Um, be right back. I got it. We're good. Go All ahead. right. So You're just next. Yep. I ah, will go up one and then pay two. It might be our fifth player. To go up <laughs> <laughs> again. Nicely done. Oh, you're already at the top. Yeah, seven well points. Good job. Thank you. Ah, your purity is astounding. No, seriously. Uh, now you shouldn't worry about that anymore. Crap! I was I was gonna pick on that nice low card with all my crappy low mm -hmm, cards. Mm -hmm. Now I have to resort to shenanigans and trickery. You were going to do that anyway. Probably. I was going to say, with the, ship, <laughs> with the shipping, we already saw it. So yeah. We have words for people like you. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you know what okay, no blue, one is what do doing? Up there on the, not going to let me do that again? Am no. Because I'm ready again. to do it again. No. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and play the eight here. No bonus action, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and start working on some jade. The seven, again, works so well with the... Uh, Di 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 uh, dice of mm -hmm, destiny. Mm -hmm. So I will go ahead and pay two of my servants there. Oops. And I will go ahead and take one piece of jade. Oh, look at that. That's worth a point at the end of the game. Boom. Done. Cool. Ship manigans. I like that, Kenny. Good call. Ship manigans. That is pretty, pretty um, awesome. And Dave. He said, uh, so the pieces on the wall remain. Whoever has the highest number, or as it were, with tiebreaker, they get removed. Everything else remains. Wowzer, Bowser. Okay, well. It gets, ah, <laughs> it. It gets hot they, in here. It gets really warm in here. 
just be glad I'm wearing shorts, oh. okay? We, we had this discussion earlier before the stream That's began. right, that's right. T, you're up? Yeah, sorry. Oh, these, uh, these people. Christopher, I, I, I got to ask, man. While Tony AP is here. Yeah. Do you just read rule books as, like, a hobby within the hobby? I'm curious because Christopher, he knows, every rule. He, he knows every right. game that we stream. He knows the rules, which is invaluable to us. We it's, greatly it's appreciate totally awesome. it. But. All right. Let's do some more boating, shall we? There's a nice juicy eight mm -hmm. down there. Mm -hmm. Thanks for pointing that out, by the way, Matt. <clears throat> All right. So, and I am going to discard this card, okay, so and that I can take advantage of the situation. So, um, okay. I'll take the action, which is a worker, and, and uh, ship nanigans. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to spend one to get a boat boat out there with two workers on it. But it does not move. No, it does not. So, move. Those, park it. Yes, I'm, it's going to be. You could come over here. Remember, it's fine. It's a full boat. So I'm, I'm just going to move it to the place. Well, one. No. Please. Oh, I one worker. Sorry. Thank I you. I want the two guys. Yeah. There you go. I'm, I'm like, trying to cheat. Seriously, shit you know, like, against. Like Bill, Bill Belichick. If you're, if not, you're cheating, not cheating, you're not, you're not trying. trying. Oh, right. watch okay. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, a Boston, Boston girl. Right right, here. Yeah. <laughs> Asher, cameo. What's up, buddy? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right. Don't forget two, three, and nine, which yeah, means not... that one. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. I have a lot of workers up here. I'm not ridiculously worried about that. <laughs> I did that last Day time. Lose, that that's very well possible. <clears throat> yep. I want to do this. So I like that action on there. All right. For next time, and two to move. Two spots. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, so we're going to pay two. Uh-huh. And move two spots. I want that. Oh, I can pick a card up from my discard. Right? That's discard yeah, retrieval. Yeah, All yeah. right, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to move one more. On the, on the intrigue, intrigue, you are blue. So yep. you have okay. to do that one, which gives you one of these. Right? No, that's um, nope. That's move on the intrigue. Yeah. Oh. So I just did that. That's my is it? Hold on. Oh it yeah, is. that is it's an egg. Yes. You um, know what? I, picking up those yeah, is that, that one. Just, right. Yep. Just yep. To my silly vision. So then I'm gonna come over here and pick up a curd. Nice. All right. A curd. A curd. All right. Yeah, let's see which one I want. She gets in another. All right. While she's thinking, mm -hmm. Amanda. All right. <coughs> Going to go. Oh, that's I like that's that. intrigue. Here? That's in the expansion. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm pay what's a card. the payment? Okay. Discard out of your hand. And pay two to get this jade. Piece of jade. All right. That may change what I was going to do actually. Huh. So we're looking at two, three, and nine. Uh, So there's a couple things that I would like to do. I would like to be able to ship some. Uh, wow. I have enough workers to be able to do everything I want. Getting Jade is also tempting, as is the seven doesn't help me. The three does for shipping. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So we have the nine, so we'll go ahead and play the nine. Exchange, take the three. Again, the three is going to be helpful next round, plus for the destiny die, so there. So we'll take the shipping action. I will. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and make Tony work a little bit for this. I'm actually just going to do the top one. So I'm going to place... A ship, the first available space, there. So now, if Tony, when Tony's ship moves, it yes. goes. Does it go front to back on the movement? I think it does. Yeah, I'll jump back there. Um, now, do you want to move one of your ships? And I can't. Oh, that's right. I can't do that. You can. can you set up your own little leapfrog. I can. And take and away mine. I will do so. There oh. we go. Done. Sorry. Hashtag not. <laughs> and the turn of the orange player right. is complete. Uh. Nothing wrong with that, Christopher. We, like I said, man, we appreciate it. Hey, Jeff, haven't seen you in a while. I am going to go ahead and take that nine for this two. 
and I'm not going to make any sort of sacrifice. Okay. So I'm done. All right. Just got a bump by a patron. Thank you. Lum fan. Thank Thanks you, Lum a lot fan. for the support. Appreciate it. I'm going to take that two down there. Yes, ma'am. So, yep. yep. And I know, she already made it. Right? It's amazing. So well, you've got to get the door. So, again, yes. so far she's the only winner. <laughs> you see, we are all losers <laughs> equally. Right. Yes, all correct. Right. And then shipping, ma'am? Yes. So I can do pay one to do two, right? You can use that canal over there. Uh, I can't. I, I think really? That, oh, and not get in your way <laughs> right. over Rudy, here? Rudy, uh, so points. Rudy says you should have moved your turn, your ship last turn, but he actually did the lower one, so I don't, I'm not going to argue no with the publisher, no movement. but no, no movement, movement because right. you just placed right. two. And no, it, he placed one. Oh, yeah, and movement is optional. That's right, yeah. I got confused by this I wanted to place the two. One. The foreman is one. Oh, it's a foreman. Yeah, he I'm sorry. Foreman. Okay, that's yeah. what you're right. Okay, so let's back this up. So yeah, so I'm on the foreman spot. You actually Ooh. would be there, and, and now then when you I did movement, I could have, have, but to. I elect yeah. not to. There we go. Yeah. Okay, good call, Rudy. Yeah. Good again. I again yeah, yeah. prototype right. So thought that was two workers, mm -hmm. and thought you did the bottom. So good call, Rudy. Would I got the I got messed up mm -hmm. with it too. All right. Everybody's gonna move. Ooh, that's rough, Franny. <laughs> yeah, he placed one at this morning. Yep. All right, Rudy, so on the if ball I at four there, in the morning. Well done. And everybody moves. Who's going off? Nobody. Oh. It will go. Yeah, bloop, bloop, bloop. Right. Okay. So I'll end up there because that's fine. All right. So I can pay one to do. However, if you put one here mm -hmm. and you elect to move, mm -mm, that's a bad plan. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Not if you get three workers <laughs> on it by the end of the round. Yeah. Let's not chance that. Yes. <laughs> and Tony, did you discard one when you did that? When All you right. paid? So That's I'll just one. Put one out. No, did you discard one to be able to do the bottom? I, I'm not. Peanut sure. Gallery saying yes. So, oh, so there we go. So I did have Everyone's it right helping the first time. You, you did, I where go. I had the third guy on there. Correct. Oh, I came over. So would you have preferred to have done that? Okay. Yeah. I mean, so that's, okay. So we screwed my, it up that was because that's yeah. a form. So I had it right so the first actually time. there. And get yourself then I would have leapfrogged. There. there we go. We're there. fixed. All right. So when you make the comment after watching this, understand we finally got it right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just delete well, your comment. Well, I had it right at first, and then yeah, my mind got blown because of the foreman and right. and the comments. Yeah. There you go. Way to be on the ball, Rudy right. slash Christopher. All right, cool. So now that's perfect for Yes, you. exactly. All right, yes. so now would that. you like to place? Here we like go, to. 16 hours later. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Weird so weird that weird. was there. Now would you like to move your ship? Again, yep. reminder, it will move again yeah. at the end. Okay. Good there. All right. Yeah. And you, can, you could I play in the other thing. canal. I know I could, but. This is this is party now. central, dude. This is oh, a party hey, canal right here. All right. Hey, Ian. Hey, what's up? Hey. I am out. Oh, you're out of cards. Okay, so I have mm -hmm. a trace oh, left. It's just you and Jess playing. I'm, I'm done. Amanda's done. Mm -hmm. So I got a few different options here. So I could sacrifice some workers to be able to do anything that's basically out there. And I'm looking at two, three, and nine, ideally. Yeah. However, that's not so good because there are no two, threes, or nines <laughs> out there. So instead of doing that, why not make use of the servants? So I will go ahead and play the three up here take the one thank you so plus the one i figure somebody's going to have nine since again two three and nine so this should be useful next turn so playing the three i can now exchange a card that's on the board with any either in my hand which i have none or in my disc oh <laughs> excuse me mm. while i kiss the sky yeah Little so you know what? We'll go ahead and exchange that card <coughs> Darn it. there, there, mm. into my discard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think you foiled her block. Yeah. Hashtag. I got excited clever. for a second. Sorry, no. not really. So <laughs> three servants yeah. there. Take, Take another one. jade, and the turn of the orange player is Fine. done for the day. All right. All right. Take that one. <laughs> Fine. 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 Takes one for the card. Yep. Right. And are then you I'm going to spend three. For some Jade. Yep. Everybody's All right, got so. Jade but me. Mm -hmm. All right. 
All right, so that's the end of the day phase. We go into the night phase, and the night phase says how many cards match? Yeah, I think I got one or two now. Two. I think I have three. One. I have two. So it looks like well, T-Bone. So everybody get your workers or get your yeah, servants. Put so out there two. Yeah. Yep. There we go. All right. So Tony got the most. So Red's going to score three points. One, yep. two, three. And, and my envoy will. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. And then uh, the ships move. Yep. And one, one. It's like Panamax. One. <laughs> it really it moves that back. Ships, one, exactly. One, right. Like, all right, so that's the end of the second day. So we advance the day marker. I guess Edward's going to be doing some shipping. You think? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. so uh, first player marker, please, ma'am. Mm, yes. Thank you. I'm glad to be that second. All right. There we got we go. some refilling right. to do over here. Yeah. Just a lower end over there. And T, you want to roll the bones? Sure, sure. Yeah, she's got that. You rolled so well last time. I, I need happy. to get four, oh. four workers. Wait. Now, something I want to point out. Now, you'll notice that's two, six, and nine. If it had been two doubles, so yeah, like let's say two, two six, sixes. six, right. In that case, every six would be worth two workers mm -hmm. at the end of the round. So that's kind of nice. So there we go. We got two, six, and nine there. So decrees, Amanda, you get your I extra worker. Both Jess and I get to move on up there. All right. Projections on who will be the least pure. <laughs> well, the fellas as of right now. Mm -hmm. But right now, anybody not named Amanda is. Yep. So then get your workers. Workers or servants are going to be four of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to go. I'm second, so I better get my uh, poop in a group here. huh? Let's see. What am I going to do? All right. So day phase. So here is what we're looking at for, for us. Here we go. Can I execute that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. So there are no nines out here. Depends mm. on what Eduardo does. One, three, three, seven. We kind of do need to ship, don't we? You kind of do. You know what? I'm good with this. This works out. So I'll go ahead and play the seven there. Take the four. Again, works so well with the destiny dice. I'm nothing if not consistent. <laughs> so the intrigue, I will go ahead and pay one. And uh, no, back that up. Oh. I will pay none. Yes. I will go one and oh yeah, we're keeping that puppy. The greed. Mm. Right. All right. So we have that. Then the shipping. Mur, if you notice, Jess did roll them for me. So. Right. I did. Yes. He doesn't know how. Right. Yeah. So no, clearly I, not. I didn't have to touch them. <laughs> right. So I will spend one. They're benign in this game. I will get two placed out here. <coughs> I'll go ahead and place there. And I will go ahead and mm -hmm. redeem the ship. So two of those will go there. One is going to go there. And there we go. Nice. Mm -hmm. And the turn of the yellow or orange player is complete. Super cool. Let's go ahead and follow your lead and do some shipping with that eight. All right. And um, if it's good for the elephant, it's good for the gander. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. So I'll, I guess I'll get another ship started with one dork on it. How about that? All right. And I'll go ahead and move my other ship. Wow. <laughs> All right. So we got one there. You're going to move your other ship. Yep. Excuse me. Boop, boop, boop. And mm -hmm. activate that, I assume. You bet your boots. Well, so let's you cannot do that. So four points or cards. card, We're going to take another card, good sir. Okay. So, so that was the last time you're going to do that. Well, that'll go back in the pile. And that'll go there. And I'll grab another card A from here. Oh, All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Excitement abounds. Mm -hmm. Hey, Red-Eyed right. Ghost. Welcome. <laughs> That's a cool name. That's pretty fun. <laughs> yeah. What can I get over here? It's been a while since he slept or he had a hard night drinking. I'm not sure which it is. Ooh. Or he flew overnight. And boy, are his arms tired. Mm. Terrible. No, no. Just flew in from Stuttgart. <laughs> oh boy, are my arms tired. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. I have six cards. Yes. That's good for discards. Mm -hmm. Gives me options. It does. Yeah. It does, right? It gives me options. Tony, oh, you put you your seven in your discard. You put that in your oh, hand. I have five six cards. Six. You <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you, Christopher. You did. That's right. Thank you you were so excited about it. Right? Yes. I cannot do that. At least you believe I love that he not only said put your card, but he knew which card you had mm -hmm. snaked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, Tanya, um, peanut gallery. On um, yeah. point, as always. I need those workers back is what I need. Uh, actually, Dave, during the live stream, you can either pause it or back it up. Yeah. Once the live stream's over, you got to wait for YouTube to process everything. 
So it takes a few hours, and then you can then go back and view everything. So intrigue. Yes. So I've got one. Just one? Yeah. All right. That's what it gives me. And then I can put one on. Yeah. One? I don't know. I might. I just want them back. They're like stuck oh. on the Great Wall. Oh, that's a good point. Because <laughs> yeah. you're yes. limited. That's They're right. like yeah, sitting yeah, yeah, yeah. there, and I can't. You better them. break that log jam, girl. I know. It might be worth it at this point and get my points and move up on the track. Well played, Kenny. Um, well, if you're going to do, toss one away and put one more out there. Yep. Right. I think I will. Okay. Right. So that it does, does appear that. that Jess has the majority. Oh, so yeah. th th that'll be three there. Yes. And then. And, oh. Oh. And, oh. and now, in reverse order here, I could go back one to get one. You know, I, I might as well. It's only one. Yeah. I was only third on tiebreaker, so I'll take one for take, there. Take me with you, brother. Oh, you're not on the wall. No, sir. Oh, you that's right. Darn it. So, oh. Jess, would Goodness. you like to? I'd like to. I'd like Jake. to do it anyway. All right, so seven spots. One, yep. two, three, four, five, six. Oh. And oh, hey, looky there. Seven. Nice. Well that done. That is nice. <laughs> All right, cool. Wowzer, right. Bowser. All right. Wait, did I take this one? No, that was not. Okay. All right, a six with an eight. And I'm going to spend four. That's some really, I won't say priceless because, well, it, she paid four, so we know what the price was, it's but pricey. that's a make, yeah, pricey. Uh, Jade's getting awfully expensive, isn't it? Yep. So I did it. And I have crap for cards right now, I just realized. I have one, three, three. Looking at the board, good thing I have a lot of workers or discards. However, the one, three, and three are not the destiny dice. Not good. But you can exchange a card, which would be awesome if there was a two, six, or nine out there, and none of those are out there. So we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that. So we're gonna look at those two. So I think we hold off on the one. So that means we're gonna play a three. So since I'm, I know I'm going to have to pay for it. The question is, what do I want to get? That and is interesting. Three, and that would be four. Wow, that's a lot of workers, but I'm going to. That's four. That's six workers. That's mm -hmm. all my workers. Mm -hmm. Or I can discard, and I will discard. So I will go and take that. Oh, man, really? Yeah, I don't trust you people. <laughs> so I will go ahead and do that. So I will take the seven. It was a lower value, so I must discard a card. And I think I will go ahead and discard my one here. That's a great wall, though. Yeah, I'm not going to have the worker. So I'm going to discard my one as the payment for having an inferior gift. So now I get to do everything. So I will go ahead and take the one worker there. Then I will go ahead and get that bad boy. So that's going to be three plus one to place. So that's going to be a total of four workers or uh, servants. There we go. But at least now my jade's worth an extra two points each. Boom. Mm -hmm. Done. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to do something quite expensive just so I don't have to worry about this next turn. I'm going to grab this five. Hey, Ian, let's talk about that at the end of the game when we do our round table. With that six. All right, so you get double Let me put this palace. over here. Yeah, Good that's job. nice, <laughs> right? All right, so for the first action, I'll spend two. All right, so you get to move up twice. And an intrigue. Yep. And for the second action, I'll spend two. And boom. And I am done with that portion of the game. Okay. As well as this turn. Right? Hmm. You know what? Yeah, the graphic design, I, I feel like it, it works really well with it. I have no problem seeing everything. Do you, any at all? Mm-mm. Gotcha. Thank you. Yep. All right, so shipping action, ma'am? Uh, mm. For, nope. You don't have to. No, nope, I'm not doing that. I'm going to go for the eight points up here. So, so that's four. It costs three, and then yep. I'm down. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I was going to do that. I, and I knew you were. That's why I wanted uh -huh. to do that, right? <laughs> but right now, that's worth four extra points if you get no more jade. Mm -hmm. Then so what? Yeah. Not too bad. Not yeah. Too bad. Got a Forbidden yep. City shark over here. No. <laughs> Amanda. Yeah. All I ask is you play a one or a two. Is that so much to ask? Really? <laughs> Not at all, really. 
Oh! oh! What'd you do? What'd you do? She played a one. Yes, she oh, did. So yeah. paying a card for the payment. Mm -hmm. So now you can take double action there if you wish. Since that is the uh, the decree card <laughs> area, all right. Um, I am going to go here to where Jade is one less. All right. So that costs you three. Mm -hmm. So I have a total of three workers left. Uh, and Amanda gets two points for that. Don't forget. Oh yeah. That's there you go. Well, I could get the one, and then two, six, or nine. Is there a two, six, or nine? There is. Huh. Three, I, you know, that would cost me three. There's that. You know what? Let's go ahead and do it. So I have a three left. We'll go ahead and take that one. That'll go into my discard. This allows me to exchange any card in my discard. Mm -hmm. So, looking at this, the... Four seven one one. Looking at those numbers up there, mm. uh, not too much goodness. Not there. so much. So we're going to keep the Great Wall one, and I'm going to go ahead and exchange the six there, since mm. there's only half of us left in the game that even care about taking that action. That kind of makes sense to me. So I will do that. Then I will go ahead and pay my three workers. So my uh, foreman. That's two and three. Now all ties equal valuable enough gifts plus three points. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. And the third day for the orange player is complete, at least the day phase. All Here right, sir. I do need a plethora of purity, Paul. That is, that is pretty spot on. Well, then. And Matt, ask that question at the end, if you would, please. It was that option, mm. which is semi groovy, but that's uh <sighs> wow. Let's go ahead and rock something a little bit different here. I am going to. I don't see how that's possible. Uh, play a two on that eight down south, and I'm gonna sacrifice a three to my three. That's tough. Because mm -hmm. um, based on what's out there, these cards suck. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice that three. Okay. So it uh, looks like I get to do that twice. You do. You are. You may yes. do that twice. I may. So here's the first action. We'll just put a worker on there. One, and move. And move. And move it, move it. Here's the second action. We'll just put a worker on there. And, and we'll, move it. doesn't matter. Because the only thing I can get is the four victory points. And they're both that is a good point. Spots. So there we go. So, so I'll, I'll take... Those go Those there. there. One there. Four VP on the chart, please. Four for one, two, three, and four. Yes. Okay. Good to go. Kind of got four guys tied up over here. Permanently. Yeah. The, yeah. And you lose those. Right? Yep. Yeah. So shipping's lucrative, however. Mm -hmm. Catch your own throat, because now looking a little thin, sir. A little thin. Uh, That's all right. That's all right. I have no workers. <laughs> You ain't got no legs, but I love <laughs> no. you anyway. Uh, That's a tough spot to be in. So, but the good news, though, is you can you can always, not always, depending on where you play the card, you can do stuff for free. Like you can yep. free there, I free know. here. I know, that's what I'm thinking about. I think that's it. Those are the only two yeah. free. Uh, here. So mm -hmm. those three mm -hmm. you can use without oh, yeah, I can any, any uh, servants. Go. That's not so is bad. the game making sense for everybody at home watching? I don't want to put this you guys up. able to follow sure along pretty well now? I would never do. You it. would never. No. Well, maybe Amanda will get it. That's fine. I'm gonna do that. Oh, only Edward's gonna get it there. So, <laughs> or you? Unless yeah. we really want it. Well, um, so Edward has no cards. Intrigue. For free. Yeah. So Ooh, you are blue. One. Yep. Blau. Care of that. And would you let? Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna go up here. You nine in the five? Yeah. She's working Ooh. nine to five up there. And then move me over one this to where is to the west. Yeah. west so You're so so And it, then just two randoms. Yep. So you get three total. So show folks what you got. Uh -huh. I get one worker and 
Oh, you put a guy, is that a boat? Is a that boat? a shipping? Uh, yep, on shipping. Well, is he going to yeah. go straight to shipping? Yeah. Might as well. Yeah. Yep. And does he move? I need to double check that. It doesn't look like it. Probably no, I not. think you just place. I will double check, but go ahead in the meantime. <clears throat> and maybe by the time I do that, Rudy? That's decrease. That's not it. I'm out, oh. so that's it. Oh, okay. Yep. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, no worries. Huh. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll tell you what. Mm. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and grab this nine. Mm-hmm. Mm. And put something else in there for With me. a five. Well, okay. And I'll sacrifice this nine. <laughs> oh. Hold on. With normal rules of this action, which tells me she should be able to move nice. if you're placing one. Mm -hmm. So, there. I just right. messed up my board well. there. And Thank then, you, Parker. Then I get That's to put my, 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 little, my little dork guy out there. Okay, Parker. Parker. And I'm thinking I probably need some, some verkers. Yeah, you think? Yeah. So I'm guessing I'm going to go right over here and grab a cube. Oh, uh, mm, uh, ruiner. Oh, man. And that cube is going to be my four four minute. Minute. All right. Uh, and I'm done. So yeah, there, hey, Jess, you're the only one Jess, in the room. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I'm just saying yeah. there is a board up mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Glory to the Forbidden City. Yeah, yeah, right. You're just going to get the evil eye, that's all. Jerk. The Boston eye. Worker. The Boston eye. Yeah, Graham, it's, it's Fine. touch better. Touch different. All right, that's funny. I'll go here and just move one and take two points. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. And then I'm going to trade these in it for another funny. two points. Oh, please get over here. And two more points for blue. Oh, here yeah. we go. All you right. Want, you want to turn any of those in or are you holding out for I'm the... holding out for that jade, baby. <laughs> yeah. The double travel marker doesn't work. Oh, then that's... What? You know what? That's on us. Hold the on. double travel marker? Okay, so hold on. Let's back it up. Counts as two tiles when exchanging travel oh, tokens okay. into the servants. Yep. So okay, so just, then this comes back because I don't shoot that. And right. But just keep two of them over there or something. There you go. Or just turn it turn it so that I'll the colors... They're side face is. down. No, it doesn't matter. No, they're yeah. just... So like... Yeah. yeah, this is worth two. There you go. Yeah, turn that one face up. Or do yeah, do this just so that's there and put that. Just there turn you it go. face up because okay. the iconography is perfect. So yeah, that the works out perfect. Shows there you too. go. Good catch, Rudy. Sorry about that. Yep. All right, okay. cool. All right, I'm still out of card. We're done, aren't we? Mm. That's all of them. Yeah. Cool. All right, we go into the night phase or evening. Evening. Sorry. Destiny. Evening. The cards of destiny. Uh, I have a whopping one. <laughs> Zero. Two. Three, eight, five, and seven. Those aren't good. Nope. They're, 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 yeah, you right. did stuff. I got stuff. a pair of nines. There you go. All right, so that's two, and Amanda has two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. so take your take your workers. But, but I'm up on the. Yes. Yep. So I'm gonna get three so VP. Get yep. Three there. My guy is already as pure as he can be. Driven snow, kind of. Pr thing. Yeah, if you yeah. will. Yeah, mm -hmm. that kind of a thing. All right, take those back into your hand. We'll go to the. Uh, move the ships. All right, momentarily. Thank you. Uh, oh. these don't make uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, they're more like... Whew. Exactly, thank you. All right, so that's it for the evening phase. Yeah, so we yeah, go yeah. into the final round. All right, uh, first player. So, oh, so day phase, right. first player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You guys get your uh, loot down there. All right. Already so, done. All right. All right, and Jess, congratulations. You are the third most pure, but hey... Uniform. I'm getting there. Cool. The pros don't ask how. Do you want to roll points. those dice? Two. I get three points for getting up there. Oh, uh, you will. Oh, that's yeah. ended. Yeah, those are purple. Purple. Right. That's right. <laughs> Just so Murr doesn't have to witness oh, me. Oh, okay. Right. You don't want to roll yeah. those. Right. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Five, six, six, eight. six eight. eight. All right. And now get your four servants. So yes. yes. Don't worry about matching those, I guess, really, because. There's nothing in the end game scoring for having match. Your, nope, your servants. So. That is true. Because right. I can play five, Paul. Yep. Yeah, there's five. All right. Well, this didn't work and how I wanted. Let me get my last four. I'm loaded for bear. Mm -hmm. Wow, this has not worked well. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna roll the proverbial dice. And we got to move up that track. So we got the four and six that are going to help us move up in the palace. So we're going to go ahead and take the four to 
go ahead there, taking the two. So that is a freebie to move up one. We shall do so. And then I will discard one to then, you know what? I will not. Hold on. I will place my foreman as one, and I could move it. I elect not to. Instead, I will just go ahead and take that. This is actually kind of an interesting decision. So the card would give me an extra action, but I'm hurting on number of workers. So I think the four points makes the most sense. So I will go ahead, discard my foreman. I will take the four points there, and one, two, three, four, and dock my ship. Done. Okay, See? since... Um my brain was scrambled on the cost. What is the cost to go here? All right, so it will be three. three, four, and then a fifth Your one fifth to place one goes. It. All right, yeah. let's rock that party, shall we? Mm. Oh, let's go ahead and I'll play nice. <laughs> let's stick a seven down there, shall we? Which is an intrigue action, which I'll yes. take. Oh, hey, congratulations, you'll be first player next turn. Oh, hey. wait. Oh, uh, you know what? We didn't refill that. up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good call. Yep, those two. Those two. Ah, I'll be the And then here's my five. Yeah. Oh, Four of them in there. <laughs> Just one like, of them yes, in there. workers. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm good. Says you. I... That was pricey. Good job. Yeah, there. it was. Uh, this is my double bubba here, right? Okay. You know, what do you call the, the three interlocking bubbles, like where they cross over on Venn things? Venn diagram. Uh, Venn diagram, right. What is it? It's a fast, cheaper quality. Yeah. So you can only pick two. So I guess in that case, it was fast and quality, not cheap. That's fair. Right? That's fair. All right. What you thinking, Jess? Um, down to shipping. All right. Shipping it is. So four goes away. Yep. Places with five. Would you like to build any on the wall? Remember, the wall will score even if it's not complete at the end of the game. All right. Um, yeah, I'll do that. So one there. And then one to place two. Interesting. It's not going to move to the end. Is there a place for that? Ugh, that is so risky. What? Not not sure I'll be able to get down there to move it again. And if I place two to fill it, it doesn't move. Correct. <laughs> but it, yeah, oh, that, oh. So at the, in the evening phase, the game will move it for you and you can resolve it. You can still if resolve full, it? If it's, it's full. full. Okay, then I'm going to do that. So I'll spend one to place the Assuming at that point you're going for the four victory points. It is exactly yeah, right. what's right. happening. So there, so we'll not out. move it. <laughs> that's a good point. So we'll not move it, but good. the game I will wasn't move sure it that you. that would yep. still score. That's good. All right. Okay, that's fine. Amanda? Hmm. My bride texting me. The blue token is under the red token. Yep. So if I were to go west, west yep. which one do I hit? Uh, it's your choice. Okay. Choose wisely. Well, seeing as I'm already <clears throat> at the top. Um, crap. Hmm. Let's do... Wow, I'm really... Decisions, decisions here. Let's do the five up there, please. Up yonder. And All right. Ooh, you want to make the a sacrifice? Payment. Yep. You sacrifice a card. So we'll sacrifice a card. I will go west and take the three. This is you. Uh -huh. Yep. So you yeah. pay three for a, a jaw day. And then I will also turn in for another jade. Oh, she is. Well done. Well done. Yep. Two jades. Nicely done. And then throw away you. a bunch of stuff. All of, All of them. Mm. Well done. No, no, hold on. What? Yeah, it's six. It's it, six. it is six because yeah. that one is two. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Gotcha. And well, actually, Rudy mentioned that you, that's how you can actually yeah, have seven. Yeah, I just wanted seven. to make sure yeah. she wasn't yep. overspending. Nope. Oh, cool. Well done. Thank you. Well, shoot. All right. So I have a six, so I will go ahead and with the uh, palace. So I will go ahead and go up there as well, please. All right, sir. We will allow it. Thank you, sir. All right. You will so, you take the card option. You're going to decline, correct? <laughs> yes. So I will go ahead and move one freely there, and then I will go ahead and pay. Uh, last one there must bring the plum wine. Deal. Okay. I will pay two. 
So, uh, will I pay two? Hold on, not so fast, my friend. Huh. Will I pay the two workers? I will yeah. not pay the two workers. So instead, I will just move one. What are you, uh, this? Yep, and I will actually come down here, please. By going this route? Correct. Skipping, skipping, skipping and, and boom. And oh, hey, hey. plum wine for everybody. Nice. All right. Nice little Beats. move. All right. All right. Here's Thank your you. Bubba. Done. There we go. All right. So it's over to the kid here. Uh, yes, Jeff. This copy will be here in Denver for HeavyCon. It will. Correct. I am going to go ahead and... Unfortunately, the prototype does not have the two, three-player side yet. You'll have to check out the Kickstarter for that. I'm going to lay an eight down there. And uh, I'm just going to move oh, one. I should have done two. I'm an idiot. To come here, which Dang. will give us a worker. Yes. What? I'm then, never sitting next to you again. <laughs> and then I'll turn these two in. Every time. Yes. Find another worker. <laughs> Glory to Rome. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah there you go. I'm sorry. Mm, you're you keep not. saying that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think it means right. I don't care. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much. I'm kidding. No, he's not. He's <laughs> really, really not. He's really not. Oh, man. All right. oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's the main difference is there's only one canal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no workers. <laughs> Okay. And Jess was so excited that there was a new worker. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. you're like a out of workers. Yeah. yeah. So you got like Aww. three cards and no workers? Yeah, it's going great. That's, you know, it's it could be worse. It could be me end. with three cards and yes, no workers. Yes, that would be worse for you. Wow. All right, fine. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. So the only way I can do so, this. So on our challenge yeah, coin, that's all Jess, I can do. I'm not sure if you're familiar, but yeah. over on this side. It's all I can do. Yeah. There's that's a plan better side of it. Yeah. Like plan better, that, play better. Plan <laughs> fine. All I can do is get a worker. All right. Oh, that, that's actually, that's so, clever. Oh, that's so do Legit that, move. not do yeah. that. Right. Well there done. Yep. Well done. Yeah, did it didn't feel well done. Did, <laughs> did you make a sacrifice or was that card? Uh, it was a two to a three. Okay. So I didn't have to sacrifice, but. Perfect. Now you have a. You I have, have a, a servant, yes. Our servant, yes. <sighs> servant sounds better. I think I'm going to get grapes and bonbons. <laughs> Kenny's going to get me in trouble. Five, right? Yeah. Wow. Man, it was such a beautiful day outside. Mm hmm. Today. It really was. My a favorite Bronco time fan of year just the head of a Patriot fan. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. Crap. So if I play a card that's lower, can I still do this piece? You can do none of it unless you sacrifice. Right. So, but if I sacrifice, I can. You can do all of it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Or as much or as little as you wish. What number was that? It's a seven. And that's a six. So you yeah. sacrifice a card, you take that. Oh. Yeah. Nice move, girl. Mm hmm. Nice. Yeah. <sighs> I can do it too. Well, this this jade is going to be the death of me. Uh, that does appear to be the case. Mm -hmm. um, a third piece is worth three points. Three, actually it's worth five points. That's probably my best move. So what I'm thinking is I could play either of these two uh, and sacrificing <clears throat> the other card to then take the jade. The problem, though, is mm -hmm. that would cost me four. I have four. I couldn't do anything on the Great Wall, and Jess is ahead of me for intrigue for the three extra points. <laughs> but it's worth five points. Three for the Jade, two for that, mm -hmm. per this. Aye. And I need a total of six. I need two, four. And I'll, I need one more Servant. Somehow, I'm trying to figure out a way to get one servant. Mm. Play a three. <laughs> I could get one by taking the card, but then it doesn't. It defeats the whole purpose. Yeah, you don't get one because that'll go in your discard. Yeah, that doesn't. Good point. Uh, now, unless you 
we're able to pull a discard uh, right here. Right. So if you, you if you travel, you can yeah. get you can get something out of your mm -hmm. discard. Yeah. You'd have to count on somebody else not wanting that. That comes after you. Huh. But, oof, man, that's tricky. And then to be able to come back, that. All right, so I'm gonna try and f what? A, so here, you know what? It's for the stream. I'll think out yeah, loud. Yeah, sure. So here we go. All my jades worth an extra two points. Mm -hmm. I'm looking oh. at this one here. Yeah. Okay. So to be able to do that, I'll what? explain that in a minute. Okay. What? To be able to do that, I need to be able to spend two, which there. But the question is, whether or not there isn't anything here that would then give me one extra. Oh, cool. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Boom. So got it. Better. All right. Figured it out. So, so I, moved, I moved Jess up one because when you are at the top and you have a palace action, you get a point. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. That makes my life much better. Yeah. So I'll play the seven. And you're making a sacrifice? I will. <laughs> in fact, I will make the sacrifice of my last card. My All right. one. All right. There. So I will spend one, two servants. Mm -hmm. Let's move forward. One. Yep. So, so there. Get something out of your pile. And I will go ahead and take the eight out. Uh -oh. yeah, actually, you guys can see that. That works. Good. Let me guess. You're going here? Uh, you. Oh. You can spend that eight on a jade or you can spend three. You're yeah. kind of. Nope. Like, yeah. I do. You're out of yeah, cards I, anyway. I, I am. Fine. So well, you know what? If you spend your workers, you have a card and no workers. Check this if out. You spend I, will spend, card, I will spend the card. Yes, exactly. Okay. So that is mm -hmm. here. Spend one, or discard one card seven or higher to get yeah. a piece of jade. So I will do so. Here is your jade. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then in addition to that, there, unfortunately, I don't have six, but I do have four. So one, two, three, and four for two points. And those will go away. Sounds good. Two points. Boom. Done. All right. And the game, for inten all intents and purposes, I'm done. I'll go here with a five over a three, and I'll just... Good call, Rudy. Thank you. I will practice my purity twice, basically. One, two. Okay. Once for the card, once for the action. I'm just going to show you why I hate you, because that's, again, where I was going to go. Oh, for with, that a, one with point. a four. Yes. Yeah. So now... <laughs> well, which would have given you two points. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Thank yes. you so much. Glory yeah. to Rome. <laughs> um, yeah. So on the great. next stream, Edward needs to sit here, Jess yeah. needs to sit there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or we yeah. switch. Yeah. I think yeah. just you and I switch. Yeah, that'll be fine. That's awesome. It'll be great. Nothing bad will happen. <laughs> um, so I have one worker. I have a one that trumps nothing, and I have a four. Which? Trumps nothing. But you can discard the I card. I can discard one sacrifice. to take it. So that's what I'm going to have to do. So that's you're blue? two points. And that's fine. Yep, because there's nothing that that one worker is going to do for me. So that's what I'm doing. There, that goes now. discard, and I'm gonna sacrifice. I'm going to discard that, and I get point two points. Yeah. Two, oh, because two. Two. Yeah. she's doing yep. it twice. Yeah, yep. that's what I'm doing. So less good, but still okay. Amanda, you're out of cards. Oh, I'm out of cards. Jess is out of cards. And you have three. <laughs> Tony, Tony has three cards. So it's the Tony Fryer show. Mm -hmm. There you go. So I'm only going to be able to do that once, and I really want to do that twice. And the primary reason I can only do it once is because I am one worker oh. short. One worker short. Let me, hold on, I'm you so know what sorry. this is, Tony? Tiny violin? Tiny, tiny, the world's tiniest violin playing Jeez. My so Heart Bleeds sad. for You. So sad. Really sad. All right. And for sure, it is very sad. Uh, let me peek out there. Oh, there is that. Think out loud, because you've got nothing we, we yep, can't Yeah, we can't do you. anything about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how about this? Let's get uh, tricky. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm, okay. I'm going to play a nine on the seven. Okay. And I'm going to move my guy once, which is to here. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Which then allows Switch. you to swap a card. Mm -hmm. From either my hand or my discard with something on the table. So I will take that six. Yep. Replace it with the three. Yes. Okay, so there. <laughs> and then that was that action. Yep. So now it's now your turn again. So now I'm going to place a six here. Okay. And I will take that worker I was mysteriously missing. Right. Oh, totally miscounted again. James, that's okay. I'm better, Tony. Um... 
Yeah, that sucks. I can still only do it once. Again. Darn. Okay. I'm going to spend so one sad for you. to place two. One in uh, the, the uh, yeah. foreman. Okay. So unfortunately, it's still not all that clever. Then I'll just go ahead and close it off. That's the only way I'm going to get points for these boys, right? Yep. So, so we'll, play, we'll play that fourth one. All right. So then here, so three points for yeah. T. One, two, three. And my guy moves up here. Oh, guess one what? One more point. point. There we go. And mm -hmm. now, all of these pieces. So in reverse order. So I can, but I have no intrigue to pay. Jess, would you like a worker now? No. No, you're, you're all set? I think I'm good okay. with that. And T, you have a total of one, two, three, four. You know what that's not? That's not five. It's not so seven. You, nor is it that. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of cards. So uh, That's it. So we go into the night phase, flip over. It doesn't Does, matter. I, it doesn't matter. No. The night phase doesn't matter, well, except for no, the, ma the majority. The majority yeah. would matter. Right. You're not going to get workers. No. One, two, five, and eight. That that sounds like I have two. I got a five. I only have one. One. Oh. Huh? And a pair of sixes. Okay. That, dude, That's that great. was such a slow roll. Yeah. That was it, such it a slow roll. It seemed like you didn't have it. Wow. And then you see, glory to Rome. Day. See, that was <laughs> dude. That was really, that was nasty. This is a meaner game than I thought. Right? Uh, so, so I have, do I have the majority? Yes. All right. <laughs> I'll take, so I'll take four, right? Since my guy can't move up again. You want to play a train game after this? <laughs> <laughs> no, how about you go play in front of a train after yeah. this, okay? <laughs> so you get that ship's move. Oh. oh yeah. Jess, Jess I, I assume would like four to points. Do that. One, yes. two, okay. three, four. And one of those that technically mm. goes onto your player board, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. All right. So we go into final scoring. So final scoring says we score the wall one final time. If there's anything left. Oh, there are. And Jess has enough intrigue to trump me. Mm -hmm. So, three points for blue. There we go. Uh, one more point for blue because she can't move up there. Okay, then this will go away. Man, oh, I oh. you know what that just showed me? That showed me an opportunity for clever. On my second one, when I placed one, I should have spent two to place two. And I would have had the most again. Darn. No, because they all no, clear. They, they all clear for oh, yeah, whoever yeah. has the majority. Couldn't do that. That's right. All right. So there. Then try that. for <laughs> over, overly clever. <laughs> overly clever. In game scoring. So red and blue each get eight. You're all right. right. Eight, 32, 31. And then uh, Amanda, how many Jade do you have? Four. So I have 10. So that's eight points here. Mm -hmm. So eight, eight for that. 8 to 13, and I have a total of 3, which is 6 points, which means I should have done that one to begin with. Oops, 6 to 20, hashtag plan better. Then uh, the palace, so purple, so Amanda gets 7, wow. up to 20. Uh, T, you get 5, mm -hmm. Jess gets 3. 36. I get 2. All right, Jade. then here's, Jade. Here's here where I get crushed. So here, we'll start back at a bus, so right. Amanda. 10. 10 for that to 30. There you go. Good throw. Thanks. Uh, I have three, which is six. 28. And two, just. Two, which is three. One, two, two three. three. And zero, two. which is last night. Zero. Zero. So, oh, you hashtag good teacher. Mm -hmm. Just wins at 38. T with 36. Amanda, 30. And thank you for playing at 28. So, all right. So that is Forbidden City. So we'll start. Jess, you're the you're the newbie, ish. Yeah. Second stream in two days. So what do you think overall? I liked it a lot. I liked yeah. how you can um, just double up on things, and even if you don't have a card that's higher, you can still play, or you run out of workers. There's still lots to do. But you you guys both showed how you can manipulate that, right? Yes. Yeah. So all right. Yeah, there's a great domino effect on it. Yeah. Uh, you know, the card mechanic, uh, really, I, I'm a big fan of because, one, the theme that drove that card mechanic, you know, I'm a fan of Chinese history and stuff. Right. And, uh, two, it's just just a really neat mechanic how you can, uh, you know, doing the sacrificing and it matters what cards you're going to collect for next turn mm -hmm. even and how they go with the um, destiny dice and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, the heart of the game is that mechanic and... I, I really like that heart. It's, yeah, it's solid. I, the card play is clever in this, and it's it is a very tactical game mm -hmm. with a little bit of long term planning as far as are you going to focus on going on Jade, mm -hmm. which I started to, and then P 
petered out on that, but also, um, I wouldn't say long-term planning with the card play, but kind of like what you alluded to, the fact that it's not just what am I playing for right now, yeah. looking at Destiny Dice, but also... Do I want lower numbers? Do I want higher numbers? Higher numbers give you more options without having to do sacrifices, but a lot of times those higher value cards don't have the additional action on it. So coupled with, do I choose the number? Am I focused more on the number or more on the uh, on the a special ability that the, the or the action that the card gives? So yeah, I really, really like that aspect. And it feels pretty wide open. I think uh, somebody, a couple of folks, I think referenced Feld. In, in a lot of ways, I, I I don't know that it feels as point salady, but it feels no, it's definitely not salad. It, it feels wide open to where you mm -hmm. you you constantly have options, like you're never shut out, yeah. like in an Agricola or something like that. Yeah. yeah. How you're, about you? You're not um, you're not kind of forced into doing one thing or the other, or completely shut out of something because you can sacrifice. That makes a world of difference. Right. That's the key. Like. Yeah. Being, you're not shut out, but you're not getting something for free. Mm -hmm. You yeah, have so. to, do, you have to pay for it, but yeah. you can at least still do the action. Yep. So overall, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, very much. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps you all at home make an informed decision on whether or not the game would be good for you and your group. Again, uh, big thanks to Rudy Sentian as well as Game Brewer as a whole for sponsoring the playthrough and given us the opportunity to show this off for you guys. So if you guys liked it, we appreciate the like and subscribe down below. If you want to support the show, pledgehc.com, which is down there scrolling at the bottom. Uh, yeah, I, I think that was a lot of fun. Thanks, everybody, that hung out with us tonight. It's yes. a good way to spend a Tuesday having. evening, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And, yeah, so, again, I'm Edward. Amanda. I'm Jace. Tony. Sorry. <laughs> in, the, in the game of Heavy Cardboard HQ, yeah. we go counterclockwise here. I was right? waving. She looked at me. I thought that meant go. <laughs> All right. So again, Edward. Amanda. Jess. Tony. All right. Amanda. Cool. <laughs> Reverse player order. Are you new? <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Bye. Take care.